Microsoft Innovative Expert uh, 2020-2021. Uh, she participated also in the local and global initiative and conferences. Um, new, she be become uh, one of the 100 creative and uh, distinguished educator all over the world from Green Thinkers in India. She is, uh, of course, the coordinator, the country director for the Worldwide Green Project for Palestine, uh, Peace and Goodwill Ambassador uh, India, a member of the Arab Translators Association, a super ambassador and judge for the Global Creative Omen Award 2021. Uh, welcome, Shokia. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Can you hear me? Yes. Welcome. Good evening. Nice to meet you again. Thank you for a good introduction. Good evening, everybody. Nice to meet you again. I am Shokia Hawaure. For uh, this invitation, for this great um, anniversary, which is the World uh, Earth Day. Thank you another time. Uh, is my screen uh, shared? Yes, yes. In your uh, your screen visible. Your screen visible. Thank you. You can proceed. Yes, uh, thank you. So uh, today, uh, on the 22nd of April, there is the international and global anniversary, which is the World Earth Day. Yes. What now in this topic, in this meeting, I will talk about the importance of the trees on Earth. As you, as you know, trees are very valuable and important for us, not only for human beings, but also for animals, plants, and other creatures. When did the World Earth Day begin? Uh, the World Earth Day was firstly held on April 22nd in 1970. So this is the beginning of this anniversary. It is an annual event to demonstrate support for environment protection. And by the way, here uh, um, the American uh, President Joe Biden will held today in the same uh, day of this anniversary, the summit for keeping this and in order to stop carbon dioxide. A peace activist John McNeil proposed a day to honor Earth and the concept of peace in 1969 at the UNESCO conference in San Francisco. So this is the person who proposed and suggested that anniversary is called John McNeil. The first Earth Day was focused on the United States first. Then, in 1990, Dennis Hayes, the original national coordinator in 1970, took it international and organized events in 141 nations. But nowadays, Save a tree, save a tree and keep it. The importance and value of the trees. Are they important? Yes, they are important. Since the beginning, trees have supplied us with two essentials in our life, as you know, which are food and oxygen. And as we improve, they provided additional necessities, such as shelter, medicine, and tools. As you know, the, the first human being uh, took uh, trees as shelter uh, uh, from wind, from rain, and from other things. And also he took medicine from trees and used tools as knives, for example, in order to facilitate his life. Uh, the more benefits of the trees discovered and their value continues to increase as their role expands to satisfy the needs created by our modern li lifestyle. And by the way, here in our religion, Islam, Islam encourages us to treat and to care about uh, uh, more and more about the trees. And uh, our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, to, uh, care about the trees, even though it is the last day of our life. And he said, peace be upon him, if we plant any tree or any plant, we will be rewarded 
in the final day. So we should and we must keep the trees because as we as we also we know we get many benefits from them. Here there are some slogans and some uh, photos, some caricatures about this anniversary. Uh, plant a tree, save the planet. When you plant a tree, you will save the whole planet. So keep planting trees. Save the earth and plant the trees always, daily, uh, a day after day. Because when you save it, you will save also the whole lives of, on the earth. Uh, this is the slogan of the worldwide project, uh, which is uh, uh, supervised and guided by Mr. Ankos. Thanks for he him. He is the founder of this project. So thanks also for the founder, Ms. Prim. Thanks for this uh, project, which is very vital. Uh, here, as we said, the trees are very essential in our community. Uh, if you look at our streets, parks, playgrounds, and backyards, they are lined with the trees. And what is the benefit of that? They create an exciting, peaceful, pleasant environment. When you look at these trees, beautiful trees, you will take the positive energy, as you know. The trees increase our quality of life. How? By bringing natural elements and wildlife habitats into urban setting sittings. We gather also and sit under cool shade, which they provide during outdoor activities with family and the friends. Like these days here in Palestine, it is very hot, for example, and we go for picnics and we sit uh, under trees which, uh, uh, very which are very beautiful. Moreover, many neighborhoods are also the home of very old trees that serve as historic landmarks and a great source of town pride. Uh, also in Palestine, which is our uh, homeland, there are very old trees. And they say that they are related to the Roman period sometimes, especially the olives, the olive tree. And here also it has a great significant, significant in our uh, culture because this is a very holy and religious one. And it is mentioned in our uh, holy book, which is Quran. Now, those are some photos. This is the olive tree. We can take olives, we can take oil, we can take wood, and we can make from wood many things, many decorations, many uh, monuments, etc. Now, there are, as we said, many benefits. The first one is ecology and environmental value. The trees, as you know, as and also our uh, uh, colleagues mentioned, it contribute or they contribute contribute to their environment by providing oxygen, improving air quality, climate uh, amelioration, uh, conserving water, preserving soil, and supporting wildlife. During the process of photosynthesis, the trees take in carbon dioxide and produce the oxygen as we breathe. Uh, as you know, it is uh, the opposite uh, process of the human beings. We take uh, uh, oxygen and uh, uh, gives uh, or give um, dioxide or carbon dioxide. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, they said one acre of forest absorbs six tons of carbon dioxide and puts out four tons of oxygen. This is enough to meet the annual need of 18 people. Trees also, shrubs and turf also filter air. It makes as or like filter for the air by removing dust and absorbing other pollutants like carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide. After trees intercept unhealthy the parcels, rain washes them to the ground. As you know, rain also is very necessary for the trees and for the, uh, washing the dust and the dirty. Another benefit is that trees control climate. How do they uh, control climate? Uh, by moderating the effects of the sun, rain, and wind. 
leaves absorb and filter the suns. This is from science uh, uh, classes that we learn that how uh, do leaves absorb and filter the sun's radiant energy and keep uh, things cool in summer, etc. And also trees also preserve warmth. How? By providing a screen from harsh wind. So when there is a storm or a great wind, we can uh, sit uh, or stand beside the trees and they will uh, preserve warmth to us. In addition to influencing wind speed and direction, uh, they shield us from the downfall of rain, sleet, and hail. Trees also lower the air temperature. It is very necessary in order to decreasing the temperature in our air and also reduce the heat intensity uh, of the greenhouse effect. As you know, the greenhouse effect uh, causes many problems, maintaining low level of carbon dioxide. So it is very essential. Uh, also, trees are essential to the ecosystems in which they reside. For reaching roots, hold soil in place and fight erosion. It, uh, as you know, also there is a problem which uh, trees uh, face uh, which is uh, soil erosion, but the trees here, uh, they can uh, keep us away from soil erosion. Trees also absorb and store rainwater, which reduce runoff and sediment deposit after storms. This helps the ground water supply recharge, prevents the transport of chemicals into streams. If uh, there are uh, many chemicals into streams, they will kill, uh, for example, the creatures in them if there, uh, there are, and it prevents flooding. Fallen leaves make excellent compost that enriches soil. Many animals, including elephants, uh, uh, koalas, and giraffes, eat leaves for nourishment. Flowers are eaten by monkeys, and nectar is a favorite of birds, and as, as you know, this is the cycle of life in our life. This process helps the diverse seeds over great distance, uh, as you know. Now, um, here, this is our slogan for the project, Save Environment, Save the Future. These are my students. They are in the 10th grade. And uh, today, for example, we talked about the importance of keeping environment, keeping the trees. How can we, uh, for example, or what is the effect of good and clean environment and uh, a healthy environment on their education? And how can we plant and increase the number of the trees in order to make our environment beautiful and uh, very uh, lovely? Another uh, theme or another benefit, it is on the personal and spiritual value. The main reason we like a tree is because they are both beautiful and majestic, as we say. No two are alike. Different species display a seemingly endless variety of shapes, forms, textures, and vibrant colors. Even individually, trees vary their appearance throughout the course of the year as the seasons change, as you know. Uh, especially, for example, in autumn, they change their color from green to brown. The strength, long lifespan, and legal of the trees give them a monument like a quality and they look like a monument. Most of us react to the presence of trees with a pleasant, relaxed, and comfortable feeling, as we mentioned previously. In fact, many people plant the trees as living memorials. It means that in order to uh, make them as a memory or a memorial for life cha <coughs> changing, changing events. Sorry. Here, if you look, this is a very old tree, and it tells us about the value of it. Another benefit is, which is practical and commercial value. If you look at the trees and the history of the trees, they uh, also used it in commerce. The trees have supported and sustained life throughout our existence, from the past till 
the prison. They have a wide variety of practical and commercial uses. uses. Wood was the first uh, fuel. As you know, at the beginning, the first human beings used the wood and if, if from the trees as fuel in order to, for example, to uh, be warm, in order to cook, etc. And <clears throat> is it still used for cooking? Till uh, till uh, nowadays, they are uh, they use uh, wood uh, from the trees for cooking and for heating. But uh, sometimes by about half of the world population so this is the percentage of the people that use a fuel or the that use wood uh, as a fuel the trees provide time but for building construction furniture manufacture it is very known and famous to make furniture like cupboards tables etc from wood uh, tools also sporting equipment and thousands of household items wood bulb is used to make pe paper as you know, uh, paper is taken from uh, trees. We are all aware of apples, oranges, and the countless other fruits and nuts provided by trees, which are very necessary and healthy for our bodies as fruit, vegetables, etc., as, uh, as well as the tasty syrup of North American sugar maples, for example. But did you know the bark of some trees can be made into cork and is a source of chemicals and medicine? And it means that we can use it in many aspects. Yes. Here, uh, also it is another uh, photo for the uh, historic and old trees. And as I mentioned, they said sometimes that they related to the Roman period. So they've, they uh, have very great value. Property value and economic value. Individually, trees and shrubs have uh, uh, shrubs. Uh, sorry, have value and contribute to savings. It means uh, to make money. But it is the collective influence of a well-maintained landscape that makes a real economic impact and has the greatest effect on a property value. Direct economic benefits come from a saving in energy cost. Yes, it is very important to make savings from this, uh, these trees. Cooling costs are reduced in a tree-shaded home and heating costs lowered when a tree serves as a wind break. It means that uh, sometimes when we want to uh, buy, for example, houses with the trees, they are more expensive than houses without the trees sometimes. According to the USDA Forest Service, trees probably, uh, probably placed around buildings can reduce air conditioning needs it means also they can reduce the uh, air con the needs uh, from air by 30 percent and save 20 to 50 percent in energy used for heating. It means that there is uh, they will not use too much uh, energy, but uh, they use trees for that. <laughs> The values of homes with well-maintained landscapes are up to 20%. Uh, These are some statistics. We won't uh, come to all of them, but it means that uh, trees are very important. And as what I said uh, from the beginning here, the first point says homes with excellent landscapes can expect expect a sale price six to seven percent higher than equivalent houses with good landscape and the excellent landscapes means that there are trees around it and they are very or they are more expensive than those houses with good landscaping as uh, uh, previously yes. those are some statistics we want to come to each of them now let's come to another benefit which is community and social value what do you mean by that it trees, as uh, also uh, mentioned in the uh, value of the trees, for example, all of the trees according to the Palestinian culture, for example, or for any other nation, trees help record the history of your family as they grow and develop alongside you and your kids. I know, and I mentioned many times, so for example, that my grandfathers uh, 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 do love uh, the trees. Uh, sometimes we expect that he loves those trees more than his 
sons. It means that they have a great value and they didn't want anyone, anyone to cut any tree uh, because he sees that uh, his dignity in the, this tree because he planted it from the beginning and it is also now it is very old and it tells somehow about his history maybe or about its history. Also, we often make an emotional connection with the trees we plant uh, as a, uh, here uh, now when he planted it, he uh, may be in connection with or in good relation with this a tree as if it is his or his son or daughter. Uh, we plant or become personally attached to the ones that we see every day. These strong bones are evidenced by the hundreds of groups and organizations across the country that go to great length to protect and save par particularly large or historic trees from the dangers of modern development. But unfortunately nowadays, as you know, uh, many trees are not because they want to, be, for example, to build houses or flats or whatever. So they are endangered. So what is our responsibility to take or to look after and to take action uh, in order to stop cutting the trees and to care more, of, more and more about them? How many of your childhood memories include the trees in your uh, backyard or old neighborhood? The sentimental value uh, of... Uh, yeah, Sorry. is simply immeasurable, yes. Now, I want uh, to show you some photos of my students uh, and how do they uh, react towards this uh, global and international anniversary. Uh, those are my students in the 10th grade and they held these uh, ones, these uh, mottos, they, these slogans and some uh, wrote on the uh, whiteboard in order to emphasize the importance of keeping environment, keeping trees, to look, at, to look after, for example, them and to pay attention for them. Have a nice look here. Oh. And these uh, ones, I asked uh, my students to uh, take photos inside their homes and around their gardens with their sisters and their friends in order also to emphasize and to focus on the importance of looking after these plants, these trees and the environment. Here she is digging and she's cleaning under the trees. Here, the, this is one garden for this student. This, these are some trees which are planted here around our houses. So each, uh, almost each house has a garden around it, which is very full of the trees and plants. It, it, it uh, seems that she has uh, 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 great emotions with this uh, tree. Like this one also. Here at school, also they are planting some flowers in order to decorate and beautify their school environment. Here around the school, here our flag. Here, uh, these are some photos of that winning uh, school that I made uh, with uh, before a few uh, months in order to uh, emphasize also uh, the importance of keeping environment in order to keep our future safe. This photo is from Iraq, for example. We exchanged some photos 
we uh, gave them or we sent them uh, our uh, activities and they sent us also their activities of keeping uh, environment safe and beautiful. These are at school. Here, the importance of it. Here also at our school, they uh, decorated the, the walls of the school by trees in order also to uh, make a call or to uh, tell uh, the others, uh, uh, please keep the trees. Here, I want to, uh, to show some of my activities uh, with the, or concerning environment. For example, this is uh, titled Climate Action D, and this is a certificate of participation. Uh, this is, uh, for example, the, uh, when I come a coordinator for my country in this project, which is called the Worldwide Green Project, which is their anguish and green for them and uh, there are about 20 countries and each country has a, co a coordinator and we all work together uh, in the, for the sake of our environment. Those are some of uh, the mottos also. As you know, uh, the sustainable development uh, has 17, uh, for example, goals. One of them is the quality of education. And if there is good environment, there will be good in uh, education. Here, the membership at the beginning when I become a member and uh, at this uh, project, a certificate. Here, I like this uh, saying. It says, if you stand for a reason, be prepared to stand alone like a tree. So tree is a symbol for being determined, for being creative, for being patient also. And if you fall on the ground for like a seed that it grows back to five, yani in, in, in other ways, be uh, in any way, be helpful, be creative, be, for example, a very efficient one. Here, uh, some uh, words uh, connected with the uh, environment, for example. Also, those are some photos about uh, how to keep our uh, trees. Plant a tree today. Each day you can plant it, not uh, literally, but you can irrigate it, you can, uh, for example, look after it, etc. Because you, they are your best friend. Those are some of the benefits, as mentioned uh, above, of the trees. Please save the trees. Also, another ones. And Pinky Trees, this is uh, the, the project's motto and slogan. I am a, uh, the last uh, thing I want to uh, let you watch this video by my student uh, Rana around her house. Save environment, save future. Let's repeat it because it wasn't open. Save environment, save future. Yes. Yes, and there are many videos, many other things. Thanks for watching and have a nice day another time and goodbye. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Shokia. A wonderful presentation. And uh, I can say uh, how you said? 
uh, atri it's beautiful, atri it's majestic. Yes, atri it's and uh, the importance of the trees, uh, it's really great. Uh, before to ask uh, to invite our uh, next guest speaker, uh, I see uh, my uh, partner raise his hand. Ankush, do you want to say something? Uh, 